and greetings everyone in this video we'll be looking at nc level uh, 3 uh, mathematics achievement standard systems of simultaneous equations so some of the skills uh, demonstrated in this video will be geometrical representation of the uh, 3d planes uh, the intersection uh, inconsistent system consistent system with independent and dependent equations so the three types of um, cases that we'll be uh, looking at in NC level 3 will be consistent system with independent equations. Now this will have a unique solution. Uh, geometrically the planes will have a common intersection and uh, it will uh, intersect as such. So they will intersect at a common point and it will result in a, um, a unique solution. The second one is um, inconsistent system with no solutions. Uh, in this case, uh, the planes might not intersect at a point and either two or three planes are parallel. So in this uh, phase diagram, all the three planes are parallel to each other. So there's no common point of intersection. In the second one, these two planes are parallel to each other and there is no common intersection all the, um, the lines of intersection uh, may be parallel so in this case the arrangements will be as such it looks like a, a triangular prism so uh, these lines of intersection are all parallel so in these cases if you are solving it algebraically the solution will result in a contradiction for example uh, 4 is equal to 7 or 5x plus 3 is equal to 5x minus 8 etc so when you are solving this algebraically and you end up with uh, a contradiction so this means that the system is inconsistent and it has no solution in uh, summary there's three different ways in which the planes can uh, be arranged so this is uh, like a, um, a triangular prism so the two planes only intersect here so and this is a common values here and these two planes intersect over there and the red one and the green one intersect over here but there is no common intersection uh, in the second case here b uh, two of the planes are parallel so these two planes are parallel and intersect with the third plane but uh, not with each other so there's no common intersection and all the three planes are parallel uh, therefore there is no uh, point of intersection case number three um, the consistent system with uh, dependent equations so this will have multiple solutions uh, so the planes might uh, coincide that means uh, the two of the equations are in fact two formats of the uh, same equation the intersection is a line not a point and uh, the arrangement will look something like this so we've got um, uh, planes two and three uh, with the same format and uh, they intersect with uh, plane 1 and there is a common intersection here so this common intersection will give you multiple solution and um, the planes intersect uh, on a line which means there are multiple solutions so in this case there's a different arrangement here so none of the uh, planes are parallel but they intersect uh, to on a line which uh, indicates that there are multiple uh, solutions so if the planes are arranged as such an algebraic uh, solution will result in a true statement for example 4 is equal to uh, 4 or 0 is equal to 0 etc and uh, in this case we know that uh, the system is consistent and it will have multiple solutions let's have a look at the first example so here we have got uh, three equations 3x take away y plus z is equal to 7 that's the first equation x plus 5y take away 3z is equal to 20 is the second equation 2x plus 2y take away z is equal to 5 is the third equation so we'll um, eliminate z by multiplying the uh, first equation by 3 and then we'll add it to the second equation so if we do that uh, 3 times 3 is 9 so 9x take away 3y plus 3z is equal to 7 by 3 is 21 and then uh, the second equation uh, what we will do is we'll add them to eliminate uh, z and uh, that gives us 10x 9x plus x is 10x uh, minus 3y plus 5y is plus 2y and uh, these will cancel out z's cancel out and then uh, we got 21 plus 20 is uh, 41 so that's our fourth equation and then uh, we'll uh, add equation 1 and 3 to el eliminate z uh, because it's plus z and minus z they will cancel out if we add the two equations so uh, 3x minus y plus z is equal to 7 
and then 2x plus 2y take away z is equal to 5 so minus z and plus z will cancel out if i add them so quickly add those two so 3x plus 2x is 5x minus y plus 2y is y and then uh, 7 plus 5 is 12 so that's our fifth equation and then uh, we'll uh, uh, look at uh, equation number four and uh, five i'm not sure if you are able to uh, see that that these two lines are parallel because um, equation four is twice equation five so five x if i double it i'll get 10 x and 2y these equations are parallel hopefully you can see that but we'll proceed uh, by eliminating variable x to eliminate x we can uh, multiply equation five by two and take away from 4 so uh, 4 minus 2 times the equation 5 so that will give us 10x plus 2y is equal to 41 equation number 4 and then if i double equation 5 i will get 10x plus 2y is equal to 24 and uh, to eliminate x i will uh, subtract the 2 and that will give us uh, uh, 0 is equal to 17 so in this case uh, we end up with a contradiction a false statement so contradiction or a false statement uh, like 0 equals to 17 indicates that there are no solutions and equations are inconsistent. And if you use a graphics calculator, calculator will give you a math error. So this is telling us that uh, it could be one of the three um, uh, situations here. But uh, we know that uh, the... Um, the planes are not parallel so it is not b or c so the arrangement will be similar to a triangular prism where we will have uh, three planes intersecting with each other in three different parallel lines which do not intersect at a common point so it will be uh, the first scenario that is here so this will be the geometrical representation of uh, that uh, problem thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video